Hey guys, so we're traveling from Las Vegas to San Diego. It took about two hours to three hours because we stopped and eat. And it was about like 130 miles. So yeah, we stayed at a hotel for the night and now we're traveling through San Diego. And it was super fun. So yeah, it's a new day. We have to visit every uh, a bunch of places. It's really interesting, you know, everything. Just that. And then we took a photo here. And we're driving through the Naval. Well, Naval, you could say. It's a really big place, just saying. Okay, look at that. That is such a big boat. Oh my god. They're they're like this is like the second largest. I don't know what to call it. But it's like Oh yeah, it's the second largest ship base, well, surface ship base of the United States. The um, first largest ship base, I'm pretty sure, is, oh yeah, the first largest ship base is the Naval Station Norfolk. So yeah. Oh my god, look at that boat. It looks like the Titanic for some reason. You know, it's a, but it's not the Titanic. Of course it's not. But yeah. Took a few photos. There is, there's a bunch of places we visited. We visited the marina, the Tuna Harbor Park, the Port Pavilion on Broadway Pier, which I showed you the photo of. Um, the Harbor Island Park and the Cabrillo National Monument. Look at that boat. Imagine how much it weighs. I feel like 10 tons or something. But it's like 300 feet long. Like literally. These are some, this is a sign we saw. And this is like a bunch of statues. But seriously though, this is like, this is the Tuna Harbor Park. And then we have this statue, more sea. That's a ski, I don't know what to call them. Another gigantic boat. And then we take photos the Harbor Island Park, and then more boat in a marina. Yeah, like a bunch of things. Wow. There's so much stuff here. And also Harbor Park, I mentioned it before. It's a stadium too. And it's used primarily for baseball. I think that really covers most of it. Um, but there's a bunch of statues in the novel. And also this is the Cabrillo National Monument. The, the visitor center, we got to touch a snake. We all did. But it's a trained snake, so it didn't really bite us. And then we went here. Um, all of this is mostly on the Cabrillo National Monument. Um, so we got to see a bunch of stuff about this, you know, everything that was like that happened before and all of this. It was so interesting learning about all of these old time things. And this was a map on the lighthouses and then there were a bunch of these boards. I learned a bit from it. These ships, Pacific Fleet, Naval Air Forces, a bunch of stuff. And this is one of the best views you could ever have. So I'm just, I just wanna show it to you. One of the boards, it showed the kinds of ships that could be or I guess boats or ships that could be here. This is the Cabrillo National Monument. That's the statue. 
And then this is the the lighthouse. There's a lighthouse, some cactus, and another great view. I'll give you a minute to look at it. Okay, and this is a bunch of other stuff we learned. Another view of this, I don't know what it is. Some experiments, maintenance that happened in the old times. Small view, that, that's what a garden used to look like. And this is what a bedroom used to look like. We climbed down the stairs, this is how the stairs look in the house when in the old times. It was super interesting looking in all the rooms. So yeah, mostly that's it. Other than that, there's a bunch. I love how the staircase was spiraled though. It was. So now I'm in the, I'm in San Diego, Cabrillo's Lighthouse. So there's like, it's like the oil shed is way bigger than the actual house. So yeah, very funny. But the storages and everything from the 1880s, these houses are from the 1880s. The, the storages and everything, they're really cool. Like the storage has all these knives, oil lanterns and everything. And the actual lighthouse, it's, it's made of a bunch of lens and everything that um, reflect the light and show smoke signals and everything. And then there's also this, this submerging danger for, for the boat people. A lot of things here, so I'm exploring a lot of them. And this park volunteer, it, he, she gave me this um, junior ranger book. And there's on the eighth page, I mean the eighth assignment at least, it's play bingo, so you have to find a bunch of things. And I found most of them. The only thing I didn't find is the whale statue in the military bunker. So those, I'll, I will be going there because there's like this whale overlook and the Bayside Trail. I think there I can find the military bunker, something like that. So I've been exploring <laughs> and all of that. There's a lot of pages in here, like seven, six, five. Learn about, five is learning about lighthouses and everything. Six is these not great. I'm so excited to do all of these things. We explored San Diego and all, and we returned to Las Vegas. We drove again. The drive from San Diego to Las Vegas was like five hours, 20 minutes, um, 330 miles about. But yeah, we finally completed our road trip from Las Vegas to San Diego through breathtaking y'all's my extraordinary San Francisco scenic highway one, never missed Hollywood, Los Angeles, and finally the finest city, San Diego. If you want to check out the road trip itinerary, then please look at the playlist road trip itinerary from Las Vegas to San Diego link in the description box. Bye and see you next time. Tell me pretty lies Look me in the face Tell me that you love me Even if it's fake